So, once again... So, once again, qualifying brought out the crowds here at Fuji for the fifth round of the FIA World Endurance Championship for 2014. Long lines for the autograph session and great anticipation of the action to come in two 25-minute sessions. Thoughts up and down the paddock with Gilles Bianchi and his family and friends. But that would just focus people's minds into what they had to do in their qualifying session. For GTE Pro and AM, it would belong to Aston Martin. Pedro Lamy not really getting the best out of his Michelin tyres to start with. Looked like he'd flat spotted the right front. And yet, and yet, Pedro managed to find the pace in the car. Down at Porsche, they were chasing hard. But just not quite quick enough. The 92 Porsche in second place for a wee while, but dropped back into third later on in the session. The 91 Porsche, by the way, well down the timings. Darren Turner did his best to grab the pole away from his teammate, but had to be satisfied with second place. So Aston at 99 from 97 in the pro categories. Alex McDowell doing a fantastic job on his first time at Fuji in claiming pole position. The 99 car supreme in the four lap average over two different drivers with one set of tyres. In the P2 category, Richard Bradley set the pace early on in the KCMG number 47. they would not be able to hang on to the fast times that were put in. Alex Brundle first out for the 35 Morgan Oak. Alexander Imperatori and Bradley in the KCMG car. Ultimately, the battle at the front of the field for pole position in LMP1 hybrid would not include Audi. It would be a Porsche and Toyota battle. Looked like Mark Webber had sealed it for his number 20 Porsche team with Timo Bernhard, but right at the very death, Sebastian Buemi, after a short break for a red flag, came out and with time about to expire, found the two tenths of the second he needed to put him and Anthony Davidson on pole position for the six hours of Fuji.